Mark, the boat's out of the shed. It's on the water behind us here. Tell us about some of the changes. Yeah, well, look, uh, I can't tell you all the changes. Essentially, what we've done is bought this boat from a 2005 vintage boat in line with current thinking. You know, so a bit fuller boat. The rig slides back in the boat. Uh, there's a bit more volume in the bow. Uh, we've got a bit of flare in the transom just to get the sheeting angle a bit wider and uh, try and match the wider boats. But, you know, we're still very much a skinny boat and from that family. Same but different for Wild Oats. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, look, similar concept. Uh, we went about it a little bit differently to them. I mean, I think that they aggressively just chopped the bow straight off, deck and all. We left the skeleton of the boat and replaced the outer skin or the shape of the boat change for us, as it did for them. Uh, we used Reichel Pew, as they did. Um, so, you know, there's been a few years between the two modifications, so we feel like ours is a step forward from theirs. But, hey, look, we're not going to know till we race them. A lot of Australian businesses involved in producing this uh, new look. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, look, I think what's important for me and, and certainly for Peter Harburg is uh, that, you know, we've supported our local businesses here in, in McConaughey Yachts. Uh, Brett Ellis engineered it. Um, Tim Webster did a lot of the carbon work for us. And then all the stalwarts, electric, Sydney rigging, Central Coast hydraulics, and, of course, North Sales. You know, this team has been doing this sort of work for a long time on different boats and I feel like it's you know great to get the band back together so to speak and um, not build a new boat but go as close as you can these days. What sort of performance enhancements and gains do you think you'll be getting out of the boat in its current configuration? We thought we were all right, already pretty strong upwind and uh, I feel like we've gained just a click there. The directional stability of the boat certainly shown to be a little easier to drive, a little less rudder than we had before. Um, we haven't increased the riding moment, so you know the riding moment is what it is. So that drives the speed really. So Comanche is still going to have an advantage when it's windy. Um, that said, we have traded off a little bit of our light air by increasing the surface area of the hull, um, and then downwind, you know, just separating the the big sails from the mainsail. We're expecting, you know, to be able to go with those guys that we couldn't couldn't do that before.